6. Squamous Cell Carcinoma Squamous cell carcinomas can develop on the skin and inside the mouths of dogs. Location of squamous cell carcinomas is strongly associated with survival times in the dog. Growths on the skin are often found early by owners and respond very well to surgery alone with little likelihood, less than 20%, of spread to other locations. 7. Mammary Carcinoma Tumors of the mammary glands are the most common tumor seen in unspayed female dogs. They can affect any of the mammary gland and may behave locally and respond well to surgery or more aggressively with velceration or open wounds of the mammary gland and rapid tumor growth. 8. Apocrine Gland Carcinoma, Anal Sac Cancer Apocrine gland carcinomas are also known as carcinomas of the anal sac in the dog. Approximately 50% of these tumors are diagnosed by your veterinarian during a routine rectal exam and show no apparent clinical signs. They can also be diagnosed if your dog exhibits increases in blood levels of calcium because the tumor secretes a hormone-like substance that causes hypercalcemia, elevated calcium. Dogs that have surgery alone for apocrine gland carcinoma usually survive one year while additional treatments can increase this to 18 months. 9. Transitional Cell Carcinoma Transitional cell carcinoma is the most common tumor of the lower urinary system, bladder and urethra, in the dog. This tumor is considered locally invasive and is moderately to highly likely to metastasize to another area. Much like the tumors of the anal gland, surgical options are dependent on the location, and often, these tumors cannot be completely removed. In such cases, chemotherapy or even anti-inflammatory drugs may be recommended. 10. Soft Tissue Sarcoma Soft tissue sarcomas are a group of several different types of tumors that share similar characteristics. These tumors are made of connective tissue and are located either within the skin or in tissues just below the skin. Owners often find these tumors when casually petting or grooming their dogs. Tumors that are included in this group are fibrosarcomas, hemangia parasitomas, liposarcomas, leomyosarcomas, and nerve sheath tumors. This is the most common cancer seen in dogs. Discover the quick and easy way to an obedient dog without spending hours of training and thousands of dollars. You won't get free access to the videos, yes. Send me my free training videos now. Click here below. Also. Do not forget to subscribe, comment and share the video. Thank you.